The objective of this practice is to properly sequence weld beads in order to produce sound, large multipass welds using low hydrogen and iron powder electrodes. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. The workpiece for this job practice is formed from two pieces of one inch bar stock. Position one of the bars vertical to the edge of the horizontal bar. Then carefully lay the bar down to form a lap joint which can contain a one inch fillet weld. Deposit a small tack weld at one end of the joint with the E7018 electrode. At the opposite end of the joint, deposit a full length tack weld. Now, increase the small tack weld to full length. When tack welding is complete, thoroughly remove the slag. Now, position the workpiece on the table for horizontal welding. The first root pass will be deposited with the E7018 electrode. Position the electrode with a 45 degree work angle and a 5 to 10 degree drag travel angle. Deposit the weld using a smooth, steady travel speed. Do not use a whipping motion since this can result in slag entrapment. As you weld, it may be necessary to adjust the travel angle to produce equal leg dimensions. When the bead is complete, remove the slag. The face of the weld should be smooth and even with no edge weld undercut. The leg dimensions should be equal and about one quarter inch long. Now, turn the workpiece over and weld the opposite root pass, this time using the E7024 electrode. Both root passes are deposited prior to welding the remaining passes to prevent the bars from separating due to distortion forces. Position the electrode with a 35 to 45 degree work angle and a 30 to 40 degree drag travel angle. The travel angle is larger for iron powder electrodes to prevent slag from rolling ahead of the arc. Deposit the weld with a smooth, steady travel speed. As you weld, the electrode coating should be touching the joint edges to ensure a short arc length. When it is necessary to break the arc, thoroughly remove the slag and wire brush the weld crater. Then, re-strike the arc one half inch ahead of the crater and move back to fill the crater, and then resume travel. The face should be smooth and even, with equal legs one quarter inch long the same as produced with the E7018 electrode. The remaining passes will be deposited with the E7024 electrode. A series of layers of weld beads will be used to fill the joint, each layer requiring one additional pass. Five layers will be used for complete joint fill for a total of 21 individual beads. The second weld bead is deposited along the lower leg of the joint. The work angle is approximately 50 to 55 degrees from horizontal, and the travel angle is 30 to 40 degrees drag. Deposit this bead with the same smooth travel speed used for the root pass. The second weld bead should overlap one half to three quarters of the first bead. At the end of each bead, thoroughly chip the slag and wire brush the welds. To deposit the third bead, position the electrode with a 35 to 40 degree work angle from the horizontal leg and a 30 to 40 degree drag travel angle, the same as before. 
the electrode should be pointed slightly above the upper toe of the second bead. Deposit this third bead with the same technique as for the second pass. Be sure to use the proper travel angle to prevent the slag from rolling ahead of the arc. This third pass should overlap one third to one half of the previous bead. The remaining layers should be deposited using similar technique and electrode angles as for the second and third pass. Each bead in a layer should overlap the previous bead by one third to one half. Each layer will begin at the bottom of the joint and move up. Occasionally, use a straight edge to check the fillet, making sure that the joint is evenly filled. Cool the workpiece in water after every third or fourth pass. On the last layer, 1 16th inch of the outside edge of the joint should be melted in order to eliminate edge weld undercut by the two outside beads. Careful control of the work angle is especially important on the last pass. By reducing the work angle, undercut can be reduced or eliminated. If the slag starts rolling ahead of the arc, it may be necessary to increase the work angle slightly. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex in order to completely fill the joint. The other side of the joint will now be welded using the E7018 electrode. This will take the same number of layers and weld beads as for the E7024 electrode. The second weld bead is deposited along the lower leg of the joint. Use a 50 to 55 degree work angle above horizontal and a 0 to 10 degree drag travel angle. Strike the arc and travel along the joint with a smooth, steady travel speed. This bead should overlap one half to two thirds of the root bead. If a restart is required, use the same technique required for the E7024 electrode. Clean the slag and thoroughly wire brush each weld bead. The third pass is deposited with a 35 to 40 degree work angle and the same 0 to 10 degree drag travel angle as before. Deposit the bead with the same technique used for the second pass. The third pass should overlap the previous pass by one third to one half. The combination of the two passes should produce a flat layer. The remaining four layers each require one additional pass as the joint widens. Be sure to melt 1 16th inch of the outside edges of the joint for both of the outside beads in the last layer. Each bead in a layer should overlap one third to one half of the previous bead. And each layer should fill the joint to a depth of one electrode diameter. The finished weld should completely fill the joint, forming a flat to slightly convex face. Notice that it takes the same number of passes to produce the one inch fillet with the 1 8 inch E7024 as it does with the 5 32nd inch E7018. This is due to the higher deposition produced by the greater amount of iron powder in the electrode coating of the E7024 electrode. Inspect the weld and continue practice.